Wrestling TV, its sponsors or partners. I'm going to start off with Northern Voices Calling, which was in the first issue of Northern Voices. Northern Voices Calling, funneling downwind along southern highways, bound and rivers upstream rushing. From Hudson Bay watershed divides, Northern Voices Calling, ivory tower pharaohs buried by the weight of smothering urban sands. Leave your glass pyramids down south. Slaves, unleash yourselves from gray walled cubicles. Follow the song of the mighty rivers, the Albany, the Moose, and the Matagany, roaring toward pines proclaiming, soaring eagles exclaiming, drilling miners reclaiming fortunes underground, illuminated by the light of glittering gold and diamonds. Northern voices calling, all of you, young and old, crushed like discarded beer cans in graffitied alleys. Escape your concrete sarcophaguses. Feel the blush of northern air, reinflating deflated dreams. Listen to the baying wolves scream where bears, deer, and moose roam through old-growth forest homes and silver northern pike and muscalunge slap tail fins in crystal streams. Northern voices calling, traveling from north to south, beckoning those who pick up the wave. This voyage is not for everyone, only for those who hear the sound and follow it northward bound. The uh, second poem I'm going to read is about this great country of ours, and sometimes I wonder how it survives. It goes on over almost 150 years from crisis to crisis. It's a wonderful nation with people from all around the world. It reminds me of a freight train with so many different boxcars. This poem is called, My Nation is a Train Wreck. My nation is a train of many rail cars, of many sizes, many colors, carrying people, carrying baggage, carrying cargo, carrying dreams, careening from side to side, ready to derail at any moment as it teeters on rusting tracks, winding round curves and bends. My nation is a train wreck waiting to happen as it grinds on from day to day, chugging uphill and streaking through tunnels and rattling over trestles. My nation is a train wreck of gnarled and twisted shapes forever collapsing round the edges and sharp turns from Vancouver Island to the rocky shores of the Buena Vista Peninsula, from Nunavut's Arctic Circle and the rock-hard mountains out west, to southernmost Pelee Island, from urban Chinatowns and Little Italy's to isolated First Nations and Pancake Prairies, from the Saguenay to Gaspé to Alberta Tar Sands to the red sands of Cavendish and Anne of Green Gables, from the smog-shrouded cities and towers of gold to boreal forests and melting ice flows. Ma nation est un chemin de fer cassé, c'est vrai, mais il marche encore toujours comme une personne ivrogne. Il marche vers l'avenir et nous saurons jamais quand il tombe. My nation is a train wreck, it's true, but it keeps chugging along like a drunk staggering into the future. Hey, it's me, Justin Pritchard, and sometimes I have the worst...